Today, we're opening never before seen vintage third party Yu Gi Oh! blisters. What is up, everybody? We are back with another old school opening. We have a bunch of third party blisters that we got in a recent blister collection, and I couldn't resist waiting too long to crack them open. You guys probably saw, I think you saw that on Wednesday. So just a few days later, we're opening more. I also threw in a few more single vintage packs. Then, of course, the Rise of Death. Not of course. I don't know why this would be, of course. It doesn't fit the theme at all, but it, well, kind of. It's vintage. First edition, Rise of De Destiny Special Edition, which can potentially have the Dark Magician Girl inside. I know it's not a third party product, but I just wanted to open it. So that put us at 19 packs and I didn't feel right. So I grabbed five more cool packs to have 24 total packs to open up today. So what we have today is a very, very fun opening. I'm super excited. Let's get to it. All right, let's start this thing off. We have the Light of Destruction. First, not first edition. I wish it was. Well, Light of Destruction reprint pack, completely different from first edition. First edition would be crazy. I'm just going to do three from the back. We've never pulled the Judgment Dragon. So I would love to pull. Oh, we have a giveaway. Do we have a giveaway? Where's my giveaway? Wait, guys, we'll do that in a second. Don't worry. There will be a giveaway spell geared. Oh, and an ultimate ancient of your golem starting us off with an ultra rare. Very good start. We have a giveaway though. Let's give away a couple of the random cards we got out of these third party blisters on the actual blister collection opening. If you guys missed that, go check it out. They had an SDY Dark Magician inside and a Kaiser Seahorse from SKE. So kind of a cool promos from back then. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below what's your favorite of the third party blisters. I think I know what a lot of you guys are going to choose, but... Maybe somebody likes something else. All right, let's try one of the third party blisters. I'm gonna try to just grab different ones every time. So we have Rise of Destiny. Uh, the cards are already coming out, but last time that was where we got the SDY Dark Magician. A lot of cool stuff. So bonus ultra, super rare. They were $6 back then. This thing's taped on. It's basically, uh, you know, a goner at this point. SNB Collectibles Inc. Very cool, could have the obelisk. Um, something tells me that this card right here is not obelisk. I'm not sure what it is, but something's telling me this isn't an obelisk. Uh, oh, Jim and IL from an IOC special. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the, what was telling me is obelisk has a blue back, so obviously it wasn't. Uh, but here we have a first edition Rise of Destiny pack. Inside, we could pull Ultimate Rare Perfect Machine King, Ultimate Rare The Creator. There's a lot of great ones. And I'm hoping we will get one of them today. Dekoichi is a good, nice retail one. We've pulled that twice recently, so I'm down to pull that again. I I'm never against pulling a good old Dekoichi. Four from the back. That's nice. We have an Invasion of Flames. Foxfire. Ballista of Rampart Smashing. Pitch Black Warwolf has been crazy in certain uh, certain duels we've done with like Go Format and stuff. Uh, Humunculus. Mine Hacks Works. Rage of Flames Sprite. Spill Purification. We got a Dekoichi, but it wasn't the ultimate rare. Still really nice card. Dekoichi, very, very fun. I love to see that. He's classic. Now let's open up this Power of the Elements pack and pull a Starlight Rare. Uh, I was about to say Dragoon. Uh, De Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. There we go. Not Destiny Hero, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. There we go. Tier Limits. Struggling. By the way, um, I'm not sure if we still have any of these. Uh, we might. We probably still have some of these Magia Mats. Uh, they are Whatnot only, so if you do want to grab some, Brave Avarice, that's a nice card. Go over to Whatnot. You guys can grab them in my store. And make sure you use the $15 free credit to get one because then it'll only be 10 bucks, which is really cheap. All right, next one, let's do a Soul of the Duelist first edition. Here we go. Let's open this up. Okay, wait, I didn't look at this way before we... Okay, six bucks as well, probably also packaged by SMB, so it looks like the same. Okay, take these out. All right, promo card, what will it be? Let's see if I can guess it. They've all been around that 2004-05 era. That one was a promo. I'm going to say Chaos Ember Dragon TLM. SKE Shadow Spell. Okay. We were in the right area. That's 2004. First edition Soul of the Duels pack. If this is a retail pack, I would love a Horus level four. There's also a lot of other cool retail ones, but if it's, you know, hobby, you know, the Horus level eight, level six, those are really big. We have pulled the Horus level eight. Not for me though, so I would love to have one myself. That'd be pretty cool. Let's see if we can get a little lucky here. Could be fun. Four from the back. The Ultra Ruxin Special. This is also a great retail ulti that I didn't get. It's not an ulti, but the Ultra Ruxin Special. Oh my goodness. What a disappointment. Oh, I messed it up. I messed up that Soul of the Duels pack. This is still a really nice goat card because in the Warrior deck, it's just pretty strong. 1800 attack. He's a warrior. He can be grabbed by Rhoda. He also destroys face up defense. If you can't get over one of them, he just destroys it very easily. Okay, let's try Battles of Chaos. First edition up next. What can we pull? One, two, three, four. We have S-Force, Dogmatica Cabre. We have Groza, Dynamorphia Alert, Leaf Place Palace, Ghostric Shot, Oradora of Fate, Dartron, and Dictator 
of D. The dictator of D is back. Not too crazy, honestly. Not too crazy. All right, let's open up one of these dark beginning. Are they SMB as well? SMB collectibles. All packaged by the same people, it seems like. This one's actually still sealed, which is shocking for these. Oh, we got a promo in there. Got a promo in there. What's it going to be? Yeah, I saw an effect monster. So let's say Dark, dark Magician Girl from Resident Destiny. Andrew Sphinx. Should have known that. One of the Sphinxes. Should have guessed. Okay, Dark Beginning one. Can you give us a Blue Eyes, a Dark Magician, Rageki? Give us something cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in Dark Beginning one. Let's see what we can get. I don't know where the, the card's going to be, so let's just go for it. Tip tip card. Dark Hole. Since Dark Hole destroys your opponent's monsters, or your monsters as your opponents, it's important to know when to use it wisely. First of all, if you use Dark Hole when you have no monsters, then there's no drawback. Sometimes you even want to use it when there's only one monster on the field, your opponents. Nothing wrong with that, one for one. I just saw we have a rare at the beginning. Second, if you're obviously outmatched, your opponent will beat you next turn because he or she has six, two or three monsters and you only have one, it's better to destroy them all rather than keep your one monster that won't save you anyway. Third, sometimes you will have a card like Black Pendant on the field that you want to send to the graveyard to get its effect, to inflict 500 damage to your opponent when Black Pendant is sent from the field of the graveyard. Look at those great tips from back in the day. And then, of course, we have a rare right at the front. I hate how Dark Beginning works. It puts the rare right at the front sometimes if it's a monster. Magician of Fate's very cool. I do like that card. Oh, this is a great pack. Petite Moth. I love that. Best card in the pack. What an amazing Dark Beginning one pack. The Petite Moth. This small but deadly creature is better off avoided. Unless it's our case. We don't want to avoid the Petite Moth. And FYI, the Petite Moth mat is only available until the end of October, which by the time you're seeing this, guys, only a few more days. So go check out RuxandThirdFloor.com. Link in the description. Get one yourself. Because uh, after that, you can't. They're gone. They're gone. They're never coming back again. So, uh, yeah. Go check that out. All right, Ghost of the Past 2. Well, let's get a Ghost Rare to celebrate Petite Moth right now. Uh, we have the Agent of Entropy. Okay. Ghost Trick. Vampire. And a Luber. Used to be a big card. Not so much anymore. Okay, back to a little bit of Soul of the Duelist First Edition. Let's not Ultra Rux and Special this one. All right, we we did spit Rux and Special the promo, which is a Kaiser Seahorse. Very cool. Better than a Shadow Spell, probably. Though Shadow Spell is not really that bad of a card for back in the day, so maybe not. Soul of the Duelist First Edition. Let's keep the pack trick correct here. Let's not Ultra Rux and Special. Rux and Special. One, two, three. Four, right there. That's four cards, so that should be it. That's an ultimate rare Horus right there. We have Ritual Weapon, Masked Dragon, Malstall of Demise, Big Wave, Small Wave, Two Man Cell Battle, Red Eyes Be Chick, Cemetery Bomb, Dark Mimic Level 1, another decent go card, and Ultimate Insect Level 1. We need a foil out of these. I think we've only hit one super rare out of these so far, which is pretty brutal. You know, I probably should open some of these old old packs over here as well. Rarity Collection 2. Let's pull something big out of here because we haven't had a lot of big pulls yet so far. Emergent Teleport. Sort of a Trishula Dragon of the Ice Bear. Collector Rare. Book of Eclipse. Guardian Chimera. There is a QCR Exosister Magnifica and TG Hyper Librarian. That's a nice card. Exosister Magnifica. Okay, that's a pretty good pack. How many do we have left? Three, five. Okay, so we got six packs over here. So let's go with... Pharaonic Guardian, unlimited. Original 2003 print. Can we pull something amazing here for this old school opening? Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I do enjoy doing these old school pack openings. Hopefully you guys do as well. Master Kianchi, go check out the other big videos. Next week we have a special series. You guys will see it tomorrow. Special series start starting tomorrow for Halloween. A little Halloween action. A living wonder and mystery coming up. Arsenal Bug. Dark Coffin. Swarm of Scarabs. Dark Scorpion Burglars. Narrow Pass. Molt Mammoth. And a Nightmare Wheel. That's a pretty sick card. Not a bad card either. Stops them from attacking, burns them for 500. Can be a pretty annoying card to deal with. I will take that because we have not exactly had a great opening so far. Okay, Rise of Destiny. Here we go. We got, oh, we got a card. It's an effect monster. This is going to be the Dark Magician Girl. Sphinx. Okay, we have all the Sphinxes. First edition, Rise of Destiny. Can we get our first foil out of these uh, third-party packs today? Because so far it's been pretty brutal. They are, they're blisters. So, you know, you don't really know the ratios. They can be good, they can be terrible. This is not one to rip, this is crazy. All right, one, two, three, four. We have Heavy Mech Support Platform. Whoa, okay. Astro Barrier, Harpy Lady One, Fruits of Kazaki Studies, Lighten the Load, Homunculus, Spell Purification, Muddy Guard, and a Chain Burst, okay. Okay, hoping for a little bit more than this. It's been a little bit slow. Let's do Legacy of Darkness next. 
These have been, these loose uh, old school packs have been better than the uh, third party blisters so far. They have one pull. One, two, three, four. Careful cards. We have Double Snare, Devil Snare, Soul Demolition, Convulsion of Nature, Woodland Sprite, Burst Breath, Frontier Wiseman, Possessed Dark Soul, Super Rejuve, and the Dragon Speed. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see how it is. Soul of the Duelist is back. Come on, Soul of the Duelist. SOD, we need your help. We need your help, Big Top. Oh, a Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's an SKE version. Okay, it's a little bent, unfortunately. I Maybe mean, it's just warped, actually. It's got a little bit of a weird, like, shape to it. But that is pretty sweet. This is the cheap one that people always think is the LOB version. They're like, oh, I saw that card that you said was like 25,000. And I have that card. They're talking about this card every time. They're like, it's first edition. Unfortunately, SKE, not that expensive. But still, really cool promo to get. All right, Soul of the Duelist, first edition. All right, don't rip open weird. Come on. Nobleman Eater Bug. This microphone just loves to be in my way, and I just bump it every time. One, two, three, four from the back. We have Ultimate Baseball Kid. Absolute End. The Neo Aquamador. The true nature of this wizard who rules all water. It defends itself with a vast, impenetrable wall of ice. Pretty cool. Ice, interesting, not water. Mass Dragon. Nobleman Eater Bug. Ninjutsu Art of Decoy. The Howling Insect. Pretty crazy card for back in the day. Just didn't really get good till later. Level Up. Nice card. And spiritual barrier. Okay. Not too good. These third party blisters are kind of sucking. Pulled like one super rare out of all of them so far. Been pretty rough. Labyrinth the Nightmare. One, two, three, four. Can you pull something crazy? These LO impacts have been absolutely nuts. Three wishes are granted to those fortunate enough to see this monster in flight. Crimson Sentry. Collective Power. Miracle Dig. Earthbound Spirit. Grave Robbers Retribution. Gadget Soldier. Fairy Guardian and a Fire Princess. These have been crazy. They've had so many foils, these Elo packs. It's been absolutely nuts. Okay, not bad at all on that one. I really just want to pull something out of these third-party blisters. We still have three of these left, though. So we're going to go back to front and guardian, then we'll go back to third party. Six packs left in the opening, guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it so far. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Go check out the mats we have available, which is Petite Moth for a few more days. There's a limited quantity of the Magia. So if there are still some still available, then you can go check that out. They may or may not still be available, but they're on whatnot. Go check that out. Call the Mummy. We have Impachi, Shape Snatch, Ferris Treasure. Okay, that was a whiff. Let's do DB1, because that's my least favorite of these to open up because of the weird things. I think this is a Sphinx again, isn't it? A lot of Sphinx. We got Thena, and those are very warped, by the way. Give us a foil. Blue Eyes, Red Eyes. Red Eyes is in here. Dark Magician. Yeah, they have the alternate arts, the kind of the weird arts. I do like the Dark Magician art the best, I think. Let's do that in case that's a foil. Humanoid Worm Drake. We have Mystic Lamp, Portrait Secret, Giant Germ, a harmless little germ. We have Magic Drain. Okay, so it was a rare this time. That would have been it if it had been a foil, monster, or rare. Grave Robber. Okay. Dark Beginning one. Just such a weird set. All right. Legacy of Darkness. Can you bless us, LOD, with an injection fairy lily? Fairy lily. There we go. Or maybe a little bit of Yatagarasu. Lizard Soldier. Here we go. Disappear. Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler. Serpentine. Spirit Ryu, Spiritual Energy, Settle Machine, Super Robo Lady. <gasps> it is an Ejection Fairy Lily! Oh, out of a random booster pack. Okay, Injection Fairy Lily, we take those. This opening just got a whole lot better. These loose packs have been really good. Third party blisters have sucked, but this definitely makes up for it. Centering is definitely like LOD, it's pushed down, pushed that way. It's not good, but who cares? When you get an Injection Fairy Lily out of a loose pack, even Unlimited, that's pretty amazing. This is such a fantastic GOAT card. I mean, the ability to pump up like 3,000 attack is super cool. So that is an awesome pull. Okay, two more over here. Let's do the Rise of Destiny. I don't think there's a promo in here. It's just a Rise of Destiny blister. Is this an official one? No, wait, this isn't third party. This is an actual Konami blister. I mean, it's taped anyway, so it's already open. But why is it so small? That's weird. Okay, well... Guess we're gonna open it up. A official Konami blister. Very cool. I didn't really realize that. I thought it was just another third party. Very nice. If they made them really, really tiny for some reason, probably to save on money. Not surprising if that's the case. Okay, one, two, three, four. Can we get an ultimate rare? We have Pitch Black Warwolf, Ruxin Special, Fruits of Kazaki Studies, Harpy Lady One, Astral Barrier, Rock from the Valley of Haze, Lighten the Load, Homunculus, Spell Purification. 
and Fusilor Dragon. I recently used that in Wheel Goat. If you guys haven't seen Wheel Goat yet, you like Goat format or you like old school cards, or you remember nostalgic old school times, go check out the playlist. Wheel Goat, super fun. Okay, Labyrinth the Nightmare. Let's keep it going. Can we pull some amazing cards? One, two, three, four. We've got Supply, Blind Destruction, Scroll Bewitchment, Rock Spirit, Dragonic Attack, Spherous Lady, Tornado Wall, and the Spherous Lady, the beauty of that vampire. Not so much, if you ask me. And last, Loose Pack. Amphibian. That's okay. Loose Packs were pretty good there. We can't complain. That leaves us with one final pack for this opening. Soul the Duelist. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. Go check out the mats on whatnot on and 34com Here we go. Let's see what promo we get. We get a promo out of here. These are taped down, so... I don't... I mean, there aren't that many blisters... But the okay, there's a blockluster ritual. But the fact that they're taped together, I don't know. It just feels it just feels weird that we didn't get anything. You know, you know what I mean? Because I mean, the ratio is the ratio. It's blister. You could get nothing. But I don't know. That there, the conspiracy theories can definitely be sprung when you go one super in like how many packs was this? Like this plus the last time, only one super rare. So maybe if we get something here, we can quell those, quell those. Um, you just always question it, the questions you have. Okay, let's see if we can pull something bigger. Trojan Horse, Goblin Calligrapher, Ritual Weapon, Red Eyes Bee Chick again, Cemetery Bomb, we have Dark Mimic, another nice goat card. Here we go, last card of the opening. It's been fun. Let's pull something. Greed. Okay, maybe we're too greedy. Maybe we just wanted too many foils. Maybe that's what it's telling us. We'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Foils of foil. But I'm still happy with this opening after what we got of the loose bags. So really, a win. All right, somehow I almost forgot to do two of the items, which one was one of the big ones, the Invasion of Chaos First Edition, Third Party Blister, and the Rise of Destiny Special Edition. So, obviously we're not gonna leave those out. Let's get to it. Uh, sorry guys, I don't know what happened. Uh, I was unburying it from all the loose pack wrappers. There was an IOC blister just sitting there, and then I look over, there's Rise of Destiny over there. So, yeah, I almost dropped the ball on that one, but don't worry guys, you will not miss it. You'll barely even know, except that I told you, that's how you'll know. All right, here we go. Three packs left in here, first edition. We have a promo, which could be the Dark Magician Girl, which would be obviously be really nice, because uh, that could be a really nice PSA 10 if it's in good condition. There are four different promos though, so it could be like Vampire Lord, it could be uh, Diffusion Wave Motion, it could be all that stuff. Yeah, okay. Diffusion Wave Motion, not amazing, that's fine. Three packs. These are all first dead, though, so these could be pretty cool. Let's see if these last few packs can break our kind of streak we have here of not doing that great. Let's see if we can, uh, in terms of the uh, third party stuff. One, two, three, four. I know this isn't third party, but it kind of counts. It's kind of from the same lot. Mouse Dispersion. We have Foxfire. Rux is special. Eagle Eye. I have an Eagle Eye for something good coming up right now. Mirage Dragon. Harpy Girl. And Big Core. We got a super rare. I'll take it. Big Core. Not too bad. The biggest of cores. Two packs left. Then we're going to open an IOC pack. I almost forgot about IOC, guys. What if there's a DMOC in there? I almost forgot about it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Can we get something that's not a super rare? Ultra or ulti? Here we go. Foxfire, Ballista, Pitch Dark. And not a rare either. I know that's not a super. Homunculus, <laughs> Spell Purification, Mighty Guard. And Machine Dupe's a great card, but... Uh, not as good anymore, I mean, in terms of value, because it had a lot of reprints, but used to be a big rare for a while. All right, third pack, last pack of the special edition. It's been, I mean, we got a super. It wasn't an amazing promo, so if we get two foils, it'd be really, really nice. Four from the back. We have a Woodborg and Pachi. Yeah, that's a card. That's a card. You can special summon it with UFO Turtle. Kind of funny. Moki Moki. We've got Element Source. I used that in a recent Wheel Goat episode as well. Harpy Girl. Back to square one. And a team trap disposal unit. Okay. Not the most amazing special edition. At least we didn't go for three, though. What really matters, though, from all this video, what really matters is this pack right here. Repackaged by SMB Collectibles. I like how there's just blankness here. There's nothing here. It feels like there should be some text or something. Just nothing. Very interesting. There are promo cards here. Three bonus Yu Gi Oh cards. Three, not one. These look like old cards. I bet they're just comments. How much you want to bet? Yep, okay, SKE from the starter deck, Kaiba Evolution. Not that great, okay. But this is what we're really here for. The last pack magic. The actual last pack of the video. First edition Invasion of Chaos. Here we go. I just destroyed that pack. That kind of split open. Can we get something big like Dimension Fusion, Demok, Blackluster Soldier. This is a third-party blister, so this could be a hobby pack in a Chaos. That would be the craziest pack ever. Okay, here we go. Oh, John Miguel, please. That would be amazing. Balloon Lizard, one of our best pulls ever, probably. Chaos Green, Sylphide, oh, Rex and Special, almost. Fiend's Hand Mirror, Molten Zombie, 
Soul Tigre, here we go. Okay, it's an effect monster. Chaos Rider Gustav. Hey, I'll take it. First edition foil. Super rare. I mean, honestly, it could have been nothing. And it probably normally would be nothing, but Sintering's not great, so we're probably not grading this guy. But hey, a first edition foil is a fantastic way to end that back. End this video. Actually end it this time. It, it's over. It's over. Get out of here. Why are you still here? Leave. Go watch another video of mine. Go ahead. Go click it on the screen. Probably a couple popping out very soon. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Ernesto Diana, America Doyster, Brandon Cheney, Hextic, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F, and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.